Cameroon. I am at the wine constasia. What am I saying? I'm at Good Constasia Wine Estate. So I have to walk all the way there to pay for my tickets. There was at the beginning box. Like it is so pretty. So I'm walking towards the office to get a ticket for the tour. <laughs> I don't know why people are staring at me. Me too, I like wine. Huh. like I might get myself some wine to go home today with you know look at all the Caucasian living my Caucasian life back outside um i'm going to have some wine this place is beautiful like what people used to live there and, and whatnot uh, Gonna be some rude ass children, huh? Public. So, we're getting there. I still have the option to taste one more wine before I go to the So I go to the cellar. So I'm gonna go with the champagne. Yeah. Actually, I changed my mind and I went for a pinotage. 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 I'm sure you guys have a bottle of wine. So, that is a good Constantia. Pinotage. Let me feel you know bougie wine tasting and shit. Koi, 
but he soon realized that the cape was appropriate for wine making. So did vine shoots from Europe, and these vine shoots arrived as early as 1655. The first wine which the cape produced was a white wine, but of muscadel grapes, a sweet style of wine. Um, when, the, when the wine was produced, Jan van Rippen recorded in his diary, praise be to God, because the cape has produced its first wine and it's fragrant and sweet. The cape's first export though was a red wine, which was sent to VOC headquarters in Batavia in 1659. Recently, we introduced our brand in the States and we are holding some of those barrels back, but we still have contracts with other farms. We do send our barrels away after this. Each of these main barrels will hold 225 litres of wine. So this is the Bordeaux style barrel with 225 litres. This is my third glass for the tasting. This is a Chardonnay. Yeah, Chardonnay. This is the tasting room.